Hey guys, it's Running Kimono. I hope you're all having a wonderful Thursday. It is about 95 degrees outside and it's just like a dry heat. Um, kind of a hot one. Special hi to my mom if she's watching. So that is today's weather report. Over here we have Walgreens. We have a little itty bitty um, Home Depot run right there. And then the last thing we're going to, or the first thing we're going to talk about is Walmart. Um, I got a couple of deals today. Um, nothing too exciting. Um, I kind of um, got shut out with one deal and I'm going to talk about that in a second. Maybe give you guys a little story time. Um, but yeah, I, um, I will talk about that there in a second. So the first thing we're going to talk about, and I know most of you can't do this deal, um, but a friend of mine, um, she has a, um, a relative who works in a pediatric office and for you know, for new moms, they have some sort of a booklet, you know, with like dollar off bounty, dollar off pampers, that sort of stuff. Like it's a new mom's booklet and they had a whole bunch at their medical office. So she gave me a couple and there was a dollar off any bounty um, paper towel and there was no limitation on it. So I grabbed four of these. Um, I usually get these coupons um, a couple times a year and whenever I get them, I always forget to use them. So this time I'm like, it's a buck, I'm gonna use it. So I got four of these completely for free. They were 97 cents and the coupon was for a buck. Sorry, I don't have one to show you because I used all of them. So I got three cents of overage for all of these. So 12 cents of overage. So whoa, really killing it there. Uh, the next thing we're gonna talk about is uh, these Neutrogena bars. I bought two of them. And they are the um, dermatology bars for acne prone skin. It's just like an orange soap. I'll show you guys. My husband uses the body wash of this, but um, initially when I used to get these, these used to be always for free, like back in the way back machine of like, it's just a clear bar of soap. So back in the day, like 2014, 15, at like both Meyer and Walgreens, you can get a whole bunch of these for free. They, they haven't really had um, a sale like that in a very long time, but it's just a really nice uh, bar of soap. And so anyhow, a couple weeks ago, there was a $3 internet printable found on coupons.com. So they're $2.67 at the store. With that $3 IP, again, no longer available, I made it 33 cents and a free item. And I had only printed out two of those coupons, so bleh, but you know, hey, it happens. I still got um, 66 cents of overage for these two bars. Uh, special thank you and shout out to Nini Coupons because she was talking about this quite a bit, I think last week or earlier this week. So I had two of those coupons and I made it work over at Walmart. Uh, this next one, kind of predictable. We have one of these Dulcolac pinks and uh, this guy was $4.98. I had a $2 IP from coupons.com. I think that's no longer available as well. Pay $2.98 out of pocket, check out 51's giving back three, making it free, plus a two cent money maker. It seems every week I always get one of these. This and the Oreo Milka bar, always in abundancy. <laughs> okay, the last item I'm gonna talk about is this. And, um, it was a problem at the checkout, um, and I did self-checkout today, and it was also a problem because I, I brought um, a couple more of these to customer service, and um, I didn't get customer service. I got um, a coupon lecture and you're wasting our time sort of a thing. Not a very nice um, lady there at customer service today. So um, I grabbed two of these. Uh, these guys are $5.28 each. This coupon was found um, the last time we had this deal with Checkout 51, where you you know could buy them for a dollar, a dollar forty seven, I think, and get back a four dollar rebate. The Checkout 51 rebate now has uh, limitations; you can't use a trial or travel size. So, if you want to try to go to Walmart and grab a whole bunch of trial sizes, you're probably not going to get your four dollar rebate, and you're probably going to get rejected. So. But anyhow, if you did open up uh, the trial size for the deal a couple weeks ago, there was this coupon inside of the box. And it's basically $2 off. And let's just look at the details really quick. It says on any one uh, Bic Soleil, comma, Bic Flex, comma, or Bic Hybrid 3 Comfort Razor Pack excludes trial and travel sizes. Boom, there it is. Um, and it says limit of two per household. So I had two in this transaction and I wanted to do another two in another transaction to get four altogether. I know coupon fraud is at 40 for that one. Um, 
so basically at the self checkout when I tried to scan this and let's look at the date it says it's valid until March 31st 2019 um, I'm not making that up and when I tried to scan this coupon basically it said that the coupon had expired and that you know it was even though it says 2019 the coupon was no longer good that it had expired so um, the lady working self-checkout was a very elderly lady and she's like look I can only key in one of these because it says um, one coupon per purchase and I said to her I'm like um, it says I can use a limit of two identical coupons per household per day so I'm like I can at least get two and she's like and she keyed both of them in but it came with an argument. I was like, okay, whatever. So looking at the math again, um, boom, I paid $3.28 out of pocket and got back $4 from checkout 51, making it free plus a 72 cent money maker. And for these men's razors, you know, it's not bad. Problem is the coupon, the date wasn't being read properly, which really never ever happens. So I had two more of these, so I, decided to take both of them and to pay for them at customer service thinking at my walmart the customer service reps are always like solid 10 out of 10 really nice and the lady who served me uh she was a younger woman like about my age and i said to her i'm like um hi um i just would like to buy these two and um i have this coupon and for whatever reason it was like really going crazy at the self-checkout and she looks at it and she's like oh well this is why because it's only good on the big hybrid three and you have a five here so because this is a five we can't use it and there is no photo on here so um yeah it's only for the big three and i tried to explain to her i'm like if you read the verbiage of what it says it says on one big soleil comma big flex or the um or it literally says or right here or big hybrid three comfort razor pack excludes trial or travel sizes this was found with the regular razors um it's not that and then she's like no 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 it's for the three she's like i know what it means i know what it means and i'm like why is flex written there she's like oh it's just the regular flex one she's like it's not to do with that and she's like, also, there's no photos. So I could tell right then and there she was right. I was wrong. So I just said, you know what? I will pass on this today. And she did not want to ring me up. She did not like just I was a very I could tell right off the bat I was irritating her. So I just um, said, OK, well, that's it. I had already um, gotten my haul and I already got back, um, you know, three bucks for this and eight for this. So. To get two more, that would have been fantastic, but with her, it was just a hard and fast no. Um, I have gone to that customer service before and dealt with managers, and they are always like, oh yeah, yeah, no problem. And uh, for them to look at a coupon and say, you know, this or that, but for her, it was a hard and fast no, just because she saw the, the Bic Hybrid 3 at the bottom with that number. And so she's like, no, no, no. So anyhow, um, the lesson between these lines is sometimes when you have a very, um, Kesher, who's like hard and fast no absolutely not you know no I am right you are wrong answer is no uh, okay you just say fine go in the next day it's not worth your time to sit there and argue with her because when we went through this and I asked her about the um the comma and and she's like yeah yeah I know what that means and that's what it means the lower one not the top one and I'm like, how can you be so sure about that? Because the coupon actually did scan when the cashier went through it manually. And she's like, oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. It's wrong. It's <laughs> like, okay, fine. So anyhow, uh, not worth writing customer service. I've always had like really good success over at my um, Walmart, but I don't know what was going on. I've never seen this woman before. And just like, she was just like making stuff up. But the fact that this coupon um, says it's the wrong date and it's very, very goofy, there's not much that we can do. And if you look at this again, sorry, well, let's just focus. That is 2019. It's not 2018. It's not like I made this in my basement. You know, this is from the manufacturer and it came in one of these um, trial size bags. So yes, it should work. Ugh. So anyhow, guys, 
I just kept my cool. I didn't fight with her. I didn't engage her and that's it. And I think that is the smartest thing you can do as a couponer. Um, some days things will go really, really great. And other days things will end up in a big smoking ball of fire and you will have somebody who will just, you know, literally tell you that you're wrong and dumb. Basically, you know, she's telling me I didn't know how to read a coupon and I'm, I didn't even get into anything with her, but it's just, it, it is what it is. And um, there's not much you can do. I could have asked for her manager. I could have done this. I could have done that. But she was so, um, so, so righteous with the hard and fast no that I was like, this is just ridiculous. So what I will do, go back to Walmart, grab two more of these and then um, use this at a regular checkout and the cashier will be able to key it in right away and hopefully uh, you will get one that will see this my way because of the commas um i think it's an acceptable coupon it's only two dollars off as well it's not like a, a free coupon so i don't know why she's getting so excited sometimes these coupons can be anywhere upwards of five dollars off with bic on coupons.com so a two dollar coupon it's not like i'm getting away with murder so i i don't know what was going on there today and i just chose to walk and sometimes in a situation like that you can only control yourself so the best thing to do is just to 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 move move it along so anyhow i only got two so i'm sure coupon cops will be very happy with that followed the limitation um and you just have to take this sort of stuff in stride um not all of us have like perfect you know it's not like the tlc show you know where there's music playing in the background and it's like oh you know everything's perfect a lot of times we can go uh, couponing and stuff like this like when something like this happens basically what i will do is i will say okay i'm done for today and that's exactly what i did because it put me in a certain place where i'm like i just don't want to fight with anybody there's no there's no more gas left in the tank it's 95 degrees outside it's very hot and then i'm being told you know told something really that I know that isn't truthful. So whatever is what it is. If you are gonna use this coupon from the, um, from the um, sample of this Big Flex, just be careful. The date is very goofy on this one and you will have problems. So anyhow, um, I'm just curious what you guys think of this. Um, and how this coupon is written up. Do you think the uh, manager was right or do you think I was right? I know a lot of you will probably say, hey, write to customer service or I should probably, um, you know, I will go back. I'm just gonna avoid this woman and I know what she looks like, but I just, it's very, very frustrating when this sort of stuff happens. And I want you guys to know that it even happens to me. And um, my defense was to say, you know what? Hey, I'm gonna, um, I'm good. I'm really good. So just move it along. You can't debate with somebody like that. So that was Walmart. The next store that we have is Home Depot and I picked up one of these crud cutters. They are found like in the painting section, like with all the good stuff to clean up after your painting. This guy was $1.68, no coupons for him. So I had to pay a buck 68 out of pocket. I bought his giving back $2 on this guy, plus I got a 50 cent bonus as I bought him a couple days ago. So when you buy two on two separate transactions, you get that extra 50 cents, making this free plus an 82 cent money maker. Um, the last time this was taking place, um, I bought a whole bunch and now I'm like, you know what, I am good because we I think we have like eight of them in our garage. So one of them was more than enough. Very happy to get that bonus too. Okay, the last store that we have is Walgreens and um, completely different than this store. Um, I think the manager himself checked me out today. So happy to see you, a little bit of chit chat and laughs. Oh, we where have you been all week? We haven't seen you because I went to a different store yesterday. I guess they were expecting me to show up yesterday and joke around with them, but they were like so, so nice and I'm like, do 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 <laughs> they're just so nice so the first thing i got was one of these scott's comfort plus the 12 count of the um bathroom tissue he's five bucks there's a 50 cent printable on coupons.com paid 450 out of pocket i bought his giving back a dollar checkout 51 has a 50 cent rebate and it's three dollars at the end of the day and uh this sort of stuff you know we use it in our house my husband likes this one so Paying three bucks is not bad. And for today for my basket, I rolled a whole bunch of points. So like I'm not paying this out of pocket. It was mostly points that I used along with, I just paid the balance of the tax. I picked up four of these Oreo Milkas as this guy reset on checkout 51 today. 69 cents for four of them is $2.76. There's an, a dollar IVC found in the June Big Book of Savings. So you scan that once, $2 came off. 
I had to pay 76 cents. Checkout 51 is giving back a quarter for each of these. So I got back a dollar, making it free, plus a 24 cent money maker. So that is awesome. I picked up four of these Oral-B Healthy Clean Toothbrushes, and these are the ones that you're looking for. They are $1.49 each, so three of them is $4.47. I have four here, but I only paid for three because I, too, get the third for free. So this guy was completely for free. So there's a four off a two load coupon, as my price point was at four bucks. So 47 cents for the four. Now, if your store is selling these toothbrushes for $1.29, you will have to buy more than four. You're probably gonna have to buy all six um, because to get to that $4 price point. So I would double, triple check the tags. Is it for $1.49 or $1.29? And when the cashier's ringing it up, check it like a hawk because if you are just paying for three, you're, you will be at like $3 and some change and not closer to four. So the four off of two will not come off. So just pay attention. Um, but I was really happy to do this deal today. Fantastic. The next deal I have is with the hydrogen peroxide. I picked up two more of these big mamas. $1.50 for the first. The second one at 50% off is 75 cents for a price point of $2.25. I got back 3,000 points making it free plus a 75 cent money maker so absolutely fantastic haul over here at walgreens um i kind of wished the things went a little better today over at walmart sorry that i babbled so much about that i just think there really is a lesson between the lines when you have a cashier who's just going to be like hard and fast i am right you are wrong you just have to walk because you can't really debate with somebody like that and again, if you guys are thinking about getting um, the smaller ones in the travel section, the problem with that is there is a disclusion on the Checo 51 rebate. So I would be very, very careful before pulling the trigger on that because you don't want to buy stuff for like $1.47 for five of them for, you know, and to pay all that money out of pocket and then to be out, you know, and if you're Walmart, it's a pain in the butt to return stuff, you know. You just don't want to be in that situation. So that is it for today, guys. Um, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.